Flash. What's your name? Chloe. Chloe, ask your question. Chloe, hi, Chloe. Hi. hi. Um, how did the idea for you to uh, for you to be in the This Is the End come up, and were you with the actors when it was taped, or what, were you like separated? Yes, we were on site with Seth, Jay, and Craig. Um, actually, when we talked with Seth once we got on set, he was telling us that they had no real ending to the actual film, which was just them <laughs> going to heaven and that was it. And they were like, well, this is a good ending, but it's just not really like, you know, powerful enough. And they actually referenced Backstreet's Back within the first 10 minutes of the actual film. So they wanted to come back full circle with that. And they reached out to our management. Seth and Jay have been fans for like years, both being from uh, Canada. They've been fans since they were teenagers, which is kind they, of a shock to us. That's, they kind of grew up with us. That's you know? really, really cool <laughs> to we know that, that you know. I grew up with your music. Just to know that Seth Rogen <laughs> was really, a fan of Backstreet Boys is really, really cool. So he was like, yeah, we were like, we're just going to go on, you know, a uh, limb and see if the guys want to do it. And we were like, absolutely, this would be awesome. And they actually learned the Backstreet's Back choreography that same day. So they were kind of stressed out about it. They were tucked away in a corner going, what? <laughs> it's funny because you know, we, we came out and we did a, a, a quick blocking with, with everybody on set so they could know where we were going to be for the camera and everything. And then when Seth and, and Craig and Jay saw us do the choreography, they're like, oh, we got to go rehearse. <laughs> oh, man. So they were kind of, oh, God. So, oh. Who was but, the best dancer of all of them? Of all of them? I think Craig. Craig, Craig probably. Um, Jay was pretty know, good. Seth, they all rocked it pretty good, but yeah. Seth. I mean, Seth, Seth was, was good. Seth was He rocking. was really, really he feeling his own, it. like, character timing. about him. Yeah. You know? <laughs> he had his own timing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, his own timing. No, but actually, uh, I found out from, from Seth that the, the original idea came from his wife. Uh, like when she they were talking awesome. about different like cameos and things that they could do for the end, like the the actual idea that spawned from actually yeah. She their was probably wives. a fan that grew up so, with our music. Yeah. <laughs> but we're glad they reached out to us. Uh, we hear it's a really funny film. We've not seen we it yet seen it. because when it premiered, we were on tour in China. I've seen and it. And since we got twice. back, AJ's seen it. Brian twice. and I are gonna go see it tonight with AJ. It'll be his third time oh, seeing yeah. it. It'll be our first time. Yeah. So, how many yeah. of you guys have actually seen it? It's funny, right? It's from start to finish. It's so funny. AJ, he AJ went to see it again last week, yeah. and he uh, he said when Backstreet's Back comes on, he's like he sinks down in his chair. I was just really nervous. I was really nervous because like, oh it was my in, God. it was at one of those theaters that like serves alcohol, so everyone's drinking. So I'm like, oh God, they're gonna see it, Backstreet Boys, and go. Hey, boo, boo. So once we come on screen, I'm like, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. And then once the song started, they were cheering. I was like, oh. Silent yes. <laughs> little Tiger Woods moment for me. That's when you stood up. It's a Backstreet Boy here. <laughs> hey, like me. I have a star. I'll be out there later. Tonight. Okay, tell us your name. Marie. Hey, Marie. Hi. Can you please describe what it's like to film a music video in the rain? In the rain? Yes. Sometimes cold. We've done it twice. Very cold. How many yes. times have we done? We have done it twice. Dry. That is the I, I answered way. my own question before I asked it. <laughs> How does that happen? How does that happen? If you are an official boy band, that's what you must do. <laughs> that is okay. a requirement. That's a yes. requirement. You we have to get hosed very down. Brightly colored shirts. <laughs> hosed down. And pastels. With your shirt open. You have to show abs. <laughs> and you have to say the word heart. Yes. You know? Um, I don't know. It's. It, well, are you talking about? Well, there was quit playing games and drowning, and, and, drowning. and drowning, and the drowning. Where video we literally almost drowned. We, the first video that we <laughs> shot for drowning, which wasn't very good, so we reshot yeah. it. Yeah. My freaking Spider-Man T-shirt, see-through thing I was wearing, which is now on YouTube, <laughs> right? You know, you've seen like the unreleased version of Drowning, right? Have you seen that video? Have you guys seen it? Yeah, we're just kind of. I can it, do that now. It was mainly you. all green screen, and we're all in like black and real like dark colors. It was, and it was stupid. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was like, let me it tell was you. Really, wait, wait, wait. Take you wait, wait, wait. The initial like, no, treatment for the like video that. was amazing, but 
They cut our budget in half. So instead of yeah. actually going out to the desert and shooting, we shot in front of a green screen, and then they tried to superimpose it behind us, and it just looked corny. It looked like so $10. that's why we About decided $10 behind not to use the video. So yeah, we reshot really, really the video, bad. much simpler. And I look like Spider-Man. It's really bad. <laughs> really, but really it's, bad. I mean, it's cool because actually they'll bring in rain machines. They bring in rain machines, so it's not really truly raining. I'm sorry to bust your bubble. It's really like we don't schedule it around a rainstorm or a monsoon. <laughs> but, um, but they'll bring in these misters and stuff. And I mean, it's nice. It was, it was in Orlando that night. We shot that video, Quit Playing Games, all night from yeah. 10 p.m. until 5 in the morning. And then we went straight to the airport and flew, and flew to, to Germany. Germany. Yeah. So that's kind yeah. of our schedule. But this was all before social media. So we couldn't tweet about it. Like, look at my see-through shirt. You know, we couldn't do that. You had to watch it on a music channel. <laughs> if you weren't a Backstreet Boy, which current artist would you follow around on tour, and who would you want to meet and greet with? <laughs> if I wasn't... I thought it was like, what other profession would you be? <laughs> Not like, what kind of fanatic, crazy I would follow person? around Alice Cooper. <laughs> I just think he's cool. And he's an awesome golfer. We've actually golfed together. But yeah, I'd probably follow him around. And he's just so polar opposite from what you see on stage, you know, with all the makeup and the, the, the snakes and all the devil crazy stuff. He's just so nice and humble. And I think he'd be really, really cool to follow around. What do you think, Kev? That's a hard one. He wants to say I Justin think, Bieber. I can see it in I his think eyes. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably going to say Prince. He's going to say Prince. Sorry to take your... <laughs> we don't know each other at all. We're, we're family. Prince. Yeah, really, really. I was and am a huge Prince fan, so... Yeah. He's bad to the bone. Okay. <laughs> George Thurgood. I'd probably uh, chase around Nora Jones. I mean, not for any particular reason other than her music. <laughs> did you see her tape. in Ted? <laughs> yes, I did. It was funny. Yeah. Oh, she was great. She was fantastic. Great she was movie. great. She's an amazing great artist. Um, I saw her live in Atlanta at the Fox Theater. And well, I saw her in L.A. Well, whatever. <laughs> and she lives in Brooklyn, so, you know. Hey, let's go. Well, I'm going to quit being a Backstreet Boy and go follow her. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hi. <laughs> sure. Um, so, AJ, I'm a really big fan of Best Think, and I watched you get your tattoo from Teresa, and I was wondering if you would maybe mind showing us, because it was so cool on TV. Yeah, sure. Wait, where is it? <laughs> Wait, you're a fan of what? Best My thing? pants will what's, stay on. What's Best Think? Best Ink is like a... Uh, best Ink? Best Ink. Oh, Best Ink. <laughs> Remember the day that I wasn't in the studio, the writing yeah. session, that you guys got mad at me? Yeah, I was doing that show. Ah. Yes. <laughs> It's all See, coming He didn't tell us about that. He was supposed to be in the studio. He was like three hours late. <laughs> and he said that his daughter was sick. Oh. Oh. Yeah, half true, because she was, but yeah. <laughs> oh, my hey. Yeah, it hurt. A lot. It looks like it hurts. Isn't there a manscaped she was, question? She was actually... <laughs> obviously, he doesn't manscape. Yes, the manscape question no, was okay. private I in the other you. room. Now we know who doesn't Being manscape. Being father, you don't have time for yourself hey. sometimes. No, but hey. she, was, she was actually... <laughs> she started out not so heavy-handed, and then... The last hour is when they really put the pressure on to like add any last minute touch ups and she just started adding more things and going wider right around the nipple area and the armpit. I'm like, really, do you have to add that? Is it gonna make a difference? But it did actually work out for her. I'm really, really proud of her. She won a hundred thousand dollars and the cover of Ink magazine and uh, she's an awesome, awesome person. Um, when you're out on the road, what happens to your mail? <laughs> we just thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is her question, actually. She always wants to know that. <laughs> your Mine mail? just sits by the front door. <laughs> like, w my wife and I miss bills. We miss so much stuff. It just piles up at the front door. We need to really fix that problem at the house. We never go through mail. I've missed invitations to weddings. I've missed all kinds of stuff. I spent like $1,500 on a mailbox. In the front, it has like a lock and key, you know, type thing. So it drops in there, and we check it about once a month. <laughs> so, I mean, it is what it is. Is that why you never you called know? me? Yeah. I didn't get your letter. <laughs> I didn't get your fan letter. 
you know. Well, I mean, we used to have people stealing my mail, so I had to do the little, you know, it's like, oh, my God, I think uh, so-and-so from NSYNC lives there. And you're like, really? <laughs> hey, really? I think it's Lance Bath. <laughs> no, so I had to lock it down. We're so glad we asked. Yeah. <laughs> so glad. Now you know. Yeah, now you know. <laughs> now you know. Definitely know. And the new kids live there? <laughs>